our mission is to rid the world's oceans of plastic. And to do that, we really need to do two things. We need to prevent more plastic from reaching the oceans, but we also need to uh, clean up what's already in the oceans. I was uh, 16 years old and went uh, scuba diving in Greece just for a family holiday and um, I looked around me and I just saw more plastic bags than fish and I wondered why can't we just clean this up. that moment that a question that kept me thinking couldn't stop thinking about it and then after half a year of aerospace engineering in university I um, decided to drop out and um, start the ocean cleanup. It's not that people don't want the ocean to be cleaned, it's just that we don't have the tools yet to do it. Good luck! So the way we propose to clean it up is to have passive cleanup systems that float around in the ocean. These things are like artificial coastlines that go around, uh, concentrate the plastic, and then every few months you come by uh, take the plastic out and bring it to land for recycling. So one year ago was a really dark period uh, for, for the ocean cleanup and for the team because uh, the first system that we launched to the oceans uh, actually broke in two, were forced back to land and actually had to completely redesign the system. What if we could intercept plastic in rivers before it reaches the oceans? 1,000 rivers are responsible for roughly 80% of the world's plastic pollution. That's 1% of rivers doing 80% of the damage. What we need is a product, one integrated system that you can bring anywhere in the world install within days and that just works. That's the missing piece. That's what we need to close the tap and it doesn't exist. Until today. We developed what we call the Interceptor which we uh, launched last year. We now have working in rivers in, in Malaysia and Indonesia to catch the plastic before it reaches the oceans. I think transitioning the world from being non-sustainable to being sustainable is the biggest challenge of our generation. 